Hey everyone, it's Fitz with your daily delivery. Hope you are well. I'm quite good. We got one more of these from the wrong side of the studio before I'm back at home, which is like six feet away from me right now. But we're going to wrap up those Big 12 fall camp reports on the Big 12 Insiders channel. Go check those out. They're kind of fun. Talking to every school a representative, usually the 24-7 publisher or managing editor, about their team at this point of fall camp. Like I said, please check them out. And today on the DD, we're going to talk about something we just don't talk about enough. It's right in front of us, and we just don't discuss it. And I'm not sure why, but today we are. But first, a reminder, please subscribe to this YouTube channel, hit the thumbs up, leave those comments. We're trying to get to 14K here pretty soon before football. Doubtful, really doubtful, but let's push for some time this season to cross that barrier. Help us out if you're not subscribing. We don't give Chris Kleiman enough credit, period, uh, period. You, you roll it back to December of 2018, Bill Snyder's retired and the search for his replacement's on, and a lot of people push back on the hiring of Chris Kleiman. And a lot of people nationally said no one can do what Bill Snyder did at K-State. Here we are, five seasons under the belt. And Chris Kleiman has done it. He's done it very similar to Bill Snyder. A different approach, but the final product comes out looking very similar. Discipline, strong defense, ball control offense. A fun brand of football without being a, you know, kind of a loosey-goosey brand of football that doesn't add up to wins as much as you want. If you remove that pandemic season, which I know you can't, but that was an aberration and there's some causes there that I want to discuss. Chris Clemens overall 39 and 24. You remove that that four and six uh, that from that season, he's 35 and 18. Now that's pretty close to winning two thirds of your games. And that's impressive. And even what he did in the pandemic season, despite his team going four and six, his one really bad season, his only losing season, of his time at K-State. That's notable because he played. He played all 10 games. He could have easily backed out of a couple games when his team was really shorthanded during the pandemic and just said, you know, we don't, we're not properly staffed. We're not, we don't have the guys to do this. But he played. It, whether it was a walk-on or a player playing a different position, like in the season finale when he's got li a linebacker playing safety, he just wanted everyone to get experience, even if it cost him a win. And a lot of coaches weren't doing that. They were backing away from games and they didn't think they could win and claiming the pandemic is the reason. Maybe it was, I don't know, but Kleiman wanted to play them all if possible. He did, and it ended up four and six. And that's the only real blemish on his roster right now if you look through his seasons. He just has done a great job. You know, two seasons ago, 10-4, and four, last season, 9-4. and four, Didn't have that championship game to add on as a victory. So I, I think K-State football is in a really good position. We've talked about the depth. We've talked about how much the defense is shining and how promising the offense is. And I think special teams will be better too. And that's all because Chris Kleiman sees the big picture. He hires well. He recruits well. And not just talent. The guys that fit the locker room. He learned some lessons about the locker room, about culture, and all those things that K-State football thrived on were just very pronounced during the pandemic season. Things didn't go right, and he saw some fissures in his program that he wanted to solve. So this DD wraps up with a thank you to Chris Kleiman for keep, keeping K-State football not only relevant, but on the verge of having another kind of stretch of big-time football. They've won a Big 12 conference title, and let's see if now, if uh, Chris Kleiman can back it up with another. It seems like this season is pointing that direction. It feels like this program's on a collision course to meet Utah. But you got to play the games. And if Chris Kleiman has the right team, he could win all of those games. We'll see. Actually, you know what, Coach Kleiman? Go do it. Prove those doubters wrong.